what's up everybody thanks for tuning in for another episode from way too high the apple we're reviewing today is remote which recently got upgraded to 2.0 what it does is it allows you to control your whole itunes library wirelessly so that means music music videos videos movies whatever you have in your itunes library it can play you can also uh, link to your apple tv wirelessly and act as a remote for that you can use it through AirPlay and actually stream stuff from it to your Apple TV and you can even use it to control your AirPlay speakers and uh, wirelessly. All that stuff's great but what I'm actually reviewing today is the iTunes DJ because I hate parties with sucky music and iTunes DJ eliminates that. What it is, it allows guests to come over, get on your Wi-Fi network and access your library to request songs and even vote for songs and vote them up the playlist so that person that's bitching about the music you can just say hey log on to my network pick your songs and let's go do a K stand so I hope you enjoyed the review I'm going to show you how to set up your iTunes and then actually show you there's two modes there's master remote mode which I also refer to as host mode where you have all the absolute power you can actually cut songs off play songs now play songs next and delete songs from the actual playlist and then there's guest mode, which would be what your guests would see and come over and know. They can request songs and vote for songs, but they don't have any um, instant power where they can delete stuff or play stuff. So I hope you enjoy the review. And if anything that you take away from this is don't play sucky music at parties. You're going to make sure that it's the most recent iTunes. Just go up to iTunes and about iTunes. 10.1 is the most recent. Just go to apple.com backslash iTunes to download it. I'll put a link in the uh, blog post so don't worry about remembering that. All right, the biggest thing is you need to go in your preferences. You can either get to that by going to iTunes up there or you can hit command comma. That'll be your preferences window. You're going to go to your generals tab. You see this unchecked box? This is iTunes DJ. All the remote stuff will work without that, but this is the actual most powerful part of the remote app in my opinion. So you're going to enable that. Then you're going to go to devices. Make sure that this is clicked, and then after that's done, you're going to hit OK. Now, you can go down here to the iTunes DJ, and you can see all the settings for iTunes DJ, which is right here. And all this is customizable, so you can have how many songs you want displayed, how many upcoming songs you want, if you want to play higher rated songs more often, or if you want to have a, a welcome message, which is really cool. And this is all customizable also. You can edit this and do whatever you want. I just have mine as something cheesy. Um, you can also reach strict uh, requests to sources. I have mine to my top rated. I rate all my music so people when iTunes DJ is enabled can only request four and five rated star songs which uh, is a smart playlist for me which is kinda cool because there's some songs that I really like but probably aren't conducive to partying or they really don't make a very good mood setter. You can also enable voting here the thing about enabling voting is that, so here it's enabled, I'm going to disable it, hit OK. I can move songs. See, I can move that song there, what have you. I can move that back there. Now, if you go back to settings and enable voting, which is really cool because guests can now vote for songs which will move it up the playlist. However, hit OK again, you can't move the songs. They're locked into this actual playlist. You can actually refresh the playlist if you'd like but there's nothing you can do to actually move the songs. You can in the app that I'll show you in the remote app later. But now the remote app is actually all set up for iTunes DJ. I'm going to show you two variations. One is going to be the host iPhone and that means where you actually have total control of your iPhone music and you have to pair it. So let's go ahead and pair your phone with the iTunes light set up. What you're going to need to do is pair your iPhone. So go ahead and open up the remote app and you see that's the welcome message that we had just set earlier. But what you're going to want to do, if you were using this in guest mode, which I'll show you here in a second, you're going to want to click on that library, but we're not. We want to actually have total control of our library. So you're going to hit add iTunes library. And you see you get this little passcode. And then there's a devices thing that pops up right here. Only one device can be paired as the master remote. So we're going to put this code in. And now I have the ability to use C, and now I'm choosing library. And you can go through all this. I showed you this earlier in the remote app. But what you're going to need to go to is you're going to need to go to playlists, which is going to be in more. And this is actually cool because all this is editable. So I think I want playlists down here instead of artists. So playlists, you can just drag it. I'll, I'll just change albums up. 
It's that easy. You can choose from all those. So we're going to go to playlists, and then you see iTunes DJs down there. You're going to hit iTunes DJ, and then this has all the songs. You see those little hearts? That means voting is enabled. So you can, I like that song, I like that song. This is actually one of my favorite songs. So I'm going to play that right now. What's also really cool about this, if you look at, so some hot girl comes up to you and says, hey, I want Incubus to be playing right now, and I'll make out with you. You can go, all right. And you see you have that play now, play next button. Nobody else will have that. Everybody will just be able to see everything but those two buttons. So what you can do is hit play now. Bam. Oh, I love this song, but I want to hear another song before cutting this song off. So if you like Shiny Toy Guns, and you can hit play next, and it'll abs it'll put it in the actual playlist. Let me get onto actual iTunes DJ. And so you can see these are actually being, and you see these vote tabs over here? That's what those little hearts are. I like Phoenix. I'm going to vote that. And you see how it moved up the playlist? That's the power that your guests will have, but they will not, like I said, have that power to delete songs. So I like Joe, but I really don't want to hear it. You can do a swipe delete to take it out of the playlist. Uh, this is a great song. I want to play it next. And it'll add it in the next one. And it's just total control of it. And then if you want to request a song, which this is more for, I'll show you when we're going to connect towards... Uh, as a guest, but this is how you would request a song. You can search artists, genres, more. And it's the same thing as edit, where if you don't want those, uh, if you want different icons, you can just drag and drop. So I want albums instead of artists. Boom. And now that's in my tab. And so that's really, really cool, really, really powerful. And uh, like I said, you have all of the power, basically, because, oh, I want to hear a temper trap right now. You hit play now instantly on which is super cool really really nice um i really like also the genius recommendations i like american woman but i want to hear something else it'll show you all the genius recommendations and then you can add the song so it's just a really 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 nice app to control music very easily you can edit so if you want to just do mass deletes of uh, i don't want that song that's that song or that delete it uh and you're done so it's really cool, you can go to the not playing, you can control the volume, which is fantastic. All right, so that is the host iPhone. Remember, that is the iPhone that if you own the computer and you want absolute control of it, that's what you're gonna wanna have connected. And you have to do that little four digit pin to connect it. So now I'm gonna show you what a guest would see. All right, so you saw it in, um in the previous video, you saw it in host mode, which allows you absolute control. Now we're going to go into guest mode. This is what everybody else will see when they come over. So obviously, you get into the remote app. And then you see, remember the welcome message? This is the exact welcome message that will pop up for everybody. If you had a password set, it would ask you for a password. You can just log on to the library. Boom, everybody's in. You can see the votes. So if you want to vote for another song like that, you have all the album art just like that. You can request songs. So I want, I want to hear some Chili Peppers. Goes into the playlist. As you can see though, those buttons that play now, play next are gone. They would go right under that. So these people don't have that actual absolute control that you do with the host. So it's really nice because you allow people control, but at the same time, you have the overarching last decision. People can't, you see, you can't swipe delete, you can't edit the playlist, you can't do anything but vote for songs or suggest songs. So it's really nice, and it allows, I mean, it's beautiful. You can see the awesome, awesome just uh, UI of it where it, the hearts are awesome you can do that these little hearts won't be there if you don't enable voting but I always enable voting when iTunes DJs on um, I mean, that's pretty much it they can go in and have the exact same genius recommendations that you had but like I said they don't have the absolute control with those play now play next or actually deleting songs from the playlist so I hope you enjoyed the review I hope you use iTunes DJ the next time uh, that you have a party let us know how it works out in the comments section and uh, Thanks for uh, tuning in again. We'll see you next time.